now give the floor to uh, Do Zinma Ong, following the military coup, Myanmar's democratically elected representatives established the committee representing Pia Dung Su Hlator with a political vision to end military rule and build a federal democracy. Uh, I will give the floor to Do Zinma Ong, who will brief on CRPH's perspective on the way forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Madam Chairperson. Thank you, Your Excellency, so much for giving me the floor to share the message from inside Burma, Myanmar to the world. On February 1, the Myanmar military led by Senior General Mia Vang alleged an attack of systematic and targeted violence against the citizens of Myanmar. This orchestrated program of armed violence has brought suffering and devastation to civilians across my entire country, from north to south, from east to west. This choreographed chance of death planned by the Myanmar military has also caused human, political, economic, and social period. The military has murdered at least 600 individuals just for peacefully protesting against the military misconduct. It is important to highlight the excessive use of force and violence by these military forces against the non-violent pro-democracy movement, also known as Civil Disobedience Movement, CDM. Thousands of my fellow countrymen and women are still unlawfully detained, in the communicator and with, without any due process rights. This includes civilian political leaders. Today, before this session starts, the military forces use lethal force, like munitions, and even use the weapon like RPGs to attack the civilian populations in Pago Township. The ambulance are not allowed to enter to the area even though there have been dozens of civilian fatalities. In the last two weeks, the Tamado has also escalated its M violence in different ethnic states, including Kian, Shan, and Kachin. The military also used airstrike in such ethnic area. Additionally, the Tamado also reached a prime forces to Rakhine State after the Brotherhood Alliance, including Arakan Army, AA issued a statement criticizing the killing of peaceful civilian protesters. Aside from the systematic violence attack by the military that target ordinary people, the military high command overseeing this carnage now trying to whitewash itself by using the name Tamado State Administration Council, SAC, has been implementing aggressive tactics such as cutting off internet connections, arbitrary arrest, and unlawful detention. There is a vast abundance of evidence to prove that the Tamado's criminal activities are both systematic and targeted. Our citizens have documented and uploaded in the internet videos and reports of thousands of atrocities committed by the security forces. The persistence of the CDM since the systematic and targeted attack was unleashed on 1st February are confirmation that the military does not have control over the country, despite the excessive use of force by the security forces. The systematic violence committed by the military against the civilian populations are proof that the military does not have any legitimacy whatsoever. I am making this presentation to you today as the Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar. I represent Myanmar. I was appointed to this post by the authorized body of our national parliament, which is composed of the democratically elected representatives of the people of Myanmar. As duly elected representatives of the people, it is our legal and moral obligation to, to the best of our ability, to exercise our mandate to end the military rampage and return Myanmar to orderly civilian democratic governance. We must ensure the rule of law is respected, and we have national and international legal obligations to bring justice to all those who have sacrificed their lives and freedoms against this systematic and targeted military violence against the civilian of my country. Failing to convene in person on February 1, due to the planned military violence, we, the elected members of parliament, 
took out, out of office and convened online. We formed the committee representing the Osudo Dorp CRPH to carry out our mandate of forming a legitimate government out of the representative duly elected by the people. The planned military bloodbath that started on February 1 were clearly illegal. And thus, the military cannot be considered a legitimate or unlawful government. Not even if the generals try to hide behind the anodyne sounding names of State Administration Council SAC. The SAC will, will claim that its formations and actions are in line with the 2008 Constitution. This is far from the truth, Your Excellency. First, even if one were to refer to the 2008 Constitution, the military had no legal basis that would allow it to manufacture a false state of emergency where none actually existed. There have been no evidence of voter threat. Moreover, only the president may declare a state of emergency, not the generals. To get around this, the military illegally and outrageously imprisoned the president, the head of state, and installed its long retired general vice president as president to declare a state of emergency. The illegal and illegitimate and no longer enforced 2008 constitution used as a fig leaf to restore its power. Second, the 2008 constitution itself no longer exists. It has been abolished. It was an illegal and illegitimate instrument in the first place. The process of drafting the 2008 constitution was fundamentally flawed. It was autocratic and failed to take into account election results. The substance of the constitution was undemocratic and authoritarian. Furthermore, the 2008 constitution has empowered the Demodor to repeatedly undermine Myanmar's democratic transition. Now, future is in our hands to establish federal democratic union. On 1st April 2021, we have launched the Federal Democratic Charter, which outlines our commitment to ending the bloody campaign by the military against its own civilian populations, that it is meant to be protecting and towards building a new Federal Democratic Union of Myanmar based on the following values. One, democracy rights, gender equality, and basic human rights. Two, equality and self-determination. Three, collective leadership. Four, diversity, social harmony, solidarity, and non-discrimination. And five, protections of minority rights. It is of paramount importance to highlight the fact that the Charter is a fundamental political path which outlines both map of the state building process and future peace process of Myanmar. All stakeholders such as CRPH, ethnic and organizations, political parties, leaders of CDMs and civil society organizations drafted, discussed and ratified the charter. As such, the charter is a product of collective leadership and reflects the collective interests of the people of Myanmar. The charter has identified steps and principles towards establishing institutions that will help the country stakeholders during the transition period leading to the development of the pillar of the modern and peaceful federal democratic union. Now, I would like to extend an invitation to the international community to support our fight for democracy. Firstly, we recognize the reservations of the international community in terms of direct physical intervention to stop the military systematic and targeted violence against the people of Myanmar and against the democratic forces. We are deeply concerned that if the Tremador does not stop its present course of conduct, the situation inside the country will continue to deteriorate and will cause further human suffering. This would inevitably instigate economic instability and potentially leads to massive refugee outflows across Myanmar border and into the wider region. Your Excellency, the Security Council was established with the responsibility for maintaining international peace and security. We therefore urge the UN Security Council member states to take immediate concrete action 
that places both direct and indirect pressure against the military and to uphold bilateral of the responsibility to protect. Second, we appreciate all the efforts that have been done so far to put pressure against the Tamado and the military high command masquerading as the so-called SAC. We urge all member states of the United Nations and all international stakeholders to continue and indeed to increase their effort, political, financial, and security measures against the Tamado until the military's violence attack on civilians stop and Myanmar returns to the rule of law under civilian and democratic rule. And that we ask for the international community's recognitions of the CRP8, Federal Democracy Charter and Interior National Unity Government. The Federal Democracy Charter was drafted and approved by the CRP8, the legitimate body of the union parliament, political parties, ethnic and organizations, and civil society organizations. It has full legitimacy as it is an outcome of collective leadership. The interior national unity government will be formed to perform its mandate duties in accordance with the charter. We seek meaningful support for our effort to restore democracy and build a peaceful, fair, democratic union, which guarantees freedom, justice, and equality to all people in Myanmar. Excellency, the struggle for Myanmar people is not about the fight between political parties or two political forces. This is the fight between the people so much, uh, Madam Chair and all your excellencies and inviting me and giving me this opportunity uh, to share what's happening in my country and then to share the, the voice of our people. I just wanted to um, make a remarks, a closing remarks like, People of Myanmar are ready to pay any cost to get back their rights and freedom. And our people know very well what are the costs of long lasting military regime. So that's why as a member of parliament who represents the voice of Myanmar and our people, I have uh, you know, responsible to represent their voice. Now again, people are ready I would like to uh, repeat again, our people are ready to pay any cost to get back their rights and freedom. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dawson Ma Ung, for your remarks.